Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I am going to show you step by step how to create a Spring Boot project in a Spring Tools Suit ID. And we will also see how to create a simple REST API. Okay, so I assume that you have already installed a Spring Tools Suit ID on your machine. If you haven't installed, then check out there is a video on this channel to install the Spring Tools Suit ID for. Okay, just open the Spring Tools Suit ID and in order to create a Spring Boot project, go to the file menu and choose new and here select spring starter web and notice here the spring initializer integration well basically the spring initializer is already integrated with spring tools with id4 so we don't have to go to the spring initializer website and create a spring boot project and import that project in a spring tools with id the spring initializer is already integrated in spring tools with 4 so we can create a spring boot project using spring initializer in this spring tools with itself okay so here let us go ahead and fill up the project details so let us give the project name as spring boot demo and keep the use default location so this is the location where this spring boot project will store next let us select the project type so here let us choose myven as a project type and keep packaging as a jar and let us select the java version 23 so as of now the latest version of java is 23 so let us choose java 23 over here and here let us choose the programming language java you can choose kotlin groovy but in our case we are going to choose java next let us give group id as net.javagets you can give any group id that you want next art artifact id is same as the project name so let us keep as it is next let us give description as demo project for spring boot and package net.javagets.springboot perfect Next go ahead and click on this next button over here and here we need to choose the dependency as we are building a REST API in a Spring Boot project so we need to choose Spring Web de Dependency over here. So just go ahead and select Spring Web Dependency. Okay that's it. Next here we have a Spring Boot version. So this is the latest and stable version of Spring Boot as of now that is 3.4.0. Next go ahead and click on next button and then click on finish. This will create a new brand Spring Boot project in a Spring Tools ID 4. You can see here. Next, just expand this project and go to the pom.xml file. And here you can check the details. Like we are using Java version 23 and we are using Spring Boot Starter Web Dependency to build the REST APIs. And this Spring Boot Starter Test Dependency is by default added to the Spring Boot project. Okay, next, go to the you know SRC main Java package. Within that, you can see the package net.javagets.springboot within this package we have a spring boot main entry point class so this is a main entry point class in a spring boot project that we can use to run the spring boot application and you can see here this class is annotated with add spring boot application annotation and this class has a main method so from this main method we can run the spring boot application okay next let us go ahead and build the simple rest api so right click on this package new and then choose class and here let us give class name as welcome controller next let us annotate this class with at rest controller annotation so this annotation we use to make the class as a spring rest controller next let me expand this within this class let us build a simple rest api so here just type public and then let us give return type as a string and then give method name as welcome and let us have a return statement over here return welcome to your first spring boot project in sts something like that Next, let us make this method as a REST API by annotating this method with at get mapping annotation. And let us give the URL, let us say greeting. Okay, so this is our simple REST API. Perfect. Next, let us go ahead and run the Spring Boot application and let us test this REST API. So go to the main entry point class over here and just right click on this class run as java application 
and notice here spring boot application is running and if you can look at here the spring boot application is basically running in a embedded tomcat server on port 8080 so we don't have to you know set up the external server to run the spring boot application the spring boot is already integrated with a apache tomcat server so we can quickly run the spring boot application by using embedded tomcat server okay next let us go ahead and test the rest api so go to the browser in a new tab just type localhost 8080 slash greeting and hit enter and there we go you can see the response of the rest api welcome to your first spring boot project in sts and if you go to the REST API over here, you can see welcome to your first Spring Boot project in STS. So this is the response you can see over here. It means the REST API is working as expected. Okay. So let me recap what we have done in this video. We have created a Spring Boot project using Spring Initializer in a Spring 2 suit ID. And we have built a simple REST API to test the Spring Boot project in a Spring 2 suit ID. Alright, great. I will see you in the next video.